What up everybody, it's Charlie and I'm back. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this, being topless basically. Um, so for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you know that I got top surgery back in May of 2016. So it's been quite a while since I've had surgery. And in that time, I haven't actually taken that much advantage of it. So when I first got it, my main goals was to be flat and to fit in shirts the way that I want to. And so when I got surgery, I achieved that goal. And so I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. Um, of course, when I went to the beach or swimming or anything like that, I would not wear a shirt. But when it comes to just everyday life, like walking around the house or going out to get the mail or like random shit like that, I always wore a shirt and I felt kind of uncomfortable not wearing a shirt for a few reasons. Um, one, I just wasn't used to it. So like as someone who went from having boobs to not having boobs, I was used to kind of the stigma that there is around mammatory glands. I, I think that's what they're called. Anyways, um, around boobs. And so I was trying kind of like conservative about it. Um, so that was one reason. Um, another reason is that I don't work out, <laughs> which I, when you look online or you look on like the Instagrams and all of that type of stuff, you see all of these trans people and they're just built. Like they work out regularly, they have muscles for days, they have pecs and like all of these things. And I don't really have that. And so I was kind of concerned and worried and like didn't feel super comfortable being topless for that reason. Another reason I didn't feel comfortable being topless is because I hang out with a decent amount of women and femme identified people. And it's weird to be topless when no one else is, or at least that's how it has felt for me. Um, and so that's another just like reason I haven't done it. But lately in Georgia, it has been hot as hell. And so I have kind of broken out of my shell and let all of that go. And I've been walking around topless, living it up. Um, it's something that, I don't know, has really like reignited more gender euphoria in me in a way that I wasn't expecting. And so, uh, I don't know, it just feels good to not have boobs in the summer and I'm living that up. I wanna take this time to shout out to a few different categories of people. The first one is people who aren't able to have top surgery for one reason or another and who want it. Um, what I would say to you is just stay strong because there's other ways to flatten, there's other ways to live life as a trans person and top surgery is not the only way that someone can look more masculine. And so don't let that be a hindrance for you because um, sometimes it just be like that. So I wanna give a little bit of advice to people who have just gotten surgery and are watching this video to get some kind of like advice. And part of that is be patient with it. Um, as you see, it's a, it's a staged process. When I first got surgery, I was like, I'm gonna give it a year before I judge my results and say, okay, this is what I, like or don't like about it and to decide if I wanted to get revisions. And then after that year, I did get revisions. And after those revisions, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait another year to see how things go and things how, thing, how things settle down because they're swelling and all of that type stuff. Um, and once things settled down, that's when I kind of arrived to, okay, I'm happy with where I'm at. And then you see, like I said, this summer is the first time I'm kind of branching out even more from that and saying, let's walk around and show this off and be topless. Actually, that's the thing. 
I think that's part of it for me is that I didn't want to show it off, you know, like me getting top surgery was something for me. It was actually one of the first big decisions that I made solely on my own without honestly the support of a lot of the big people in my life. Um, and so it has always felt like something kind of personal to me and not public. <laughs> and uh, now I'm realizing that it just can be and I don't have to feel bad or, about the other people around me or what's going on for them. Um, I can just kind of be happy about the life that I'm living right now and hope the best for you all. I, I really do hope that you all can find the gender euphoria that I've been feeling this summer um, because yeah, it's trans folks summer. We out here living, we're out here doing it right. And so, um, yeah, if you guys have any comments or things to say, I will see you in the comments. And if not, I'll see you next time. Deuce.